Today, I want to talk about spending money. This will be a, this will be a really juicy episode. I was out. Is this was actually in the UIG meetup? We held a kind of in person meetup in uh, Vegas a few months ago, and then in Vancouver here we had twenty five or so people come out. It was awesome. Twenty five investors, uh, UIG members, and someone asked me about my Rolex. I bought a presidential last year, a gold presidential, start of last year, I think, or maybe even the year before. Either way, and you know it was a you know, fair sum of money for a watch, a stupid purchase, you could say. And they asked me, they're like, how do you, you know, like, how do you think through spending that kind of money? Do you not feel kind of like it's a waste? And I really like the question. There's two types of income. And this is, this is the way I think about money, spending, and what I can spend, what I feel good about spending, and what I don't want to spend. You've got earned income on the left side, and you've got investment income on the right side. And I have a really simple rule. My earned income, the money that I trade my time for, that I work really hard for, I don't buy stupid stuff with. I invest all of it. You know, I live off what I need to live off of it, and then I invest the rest. And back in the day when I was, I quit the oil rigs and I was working a bunch of jobs and doing a bunch of crap, I just kind of started, you know, living this philosophy or the, living this kind of system out. Is okay, my earned income, I'm going to take it, I'm going to invest it. I'm not going to spend on anything dumb. There was a time years ago, I was making around 100 grand a month. That was earned income. I worked really hard for it. I was kind of like a one man show and I was grinding it out. And I drove a 2012 Dodge pickup. It was nice. Like it wasn't rusted. It was a nice truck, but it was base. I think I, I paid like 15 grand for it. I was in a mastermind where people were making around that and they were all buying, you know, their Lambos on payments and their, their whatever they were buying. And, and, you know, $12,000 a month apartments. And I just kind of told myself, I'm like, I'm going to stick with this. I'm going to earn my income. I don't care how little or how much I earn. I'm going to take it. I'm going to invest it. My first investments were in myself, developing a skill set, developing, you know, communication skills, um, working on myself, doing personal development programs to get clear on like, what is my life purpose? What do I want to do? What do I, what, what I die for? Where do I have passion for? What do I want to build and getting around people who thought differently than 99% of people. So I spent a lot of money on that. Those were my first investments. I'd say community coaching, that's always going to be and should be your biggest investment, especially when you're first starting. Then once I was kind of capped out, like this year I spent so far 150 grand on coaching and, and personal development, like anything above that, I don't even have time to execute on. So everything in excess of that gets invested into the markets that makes me an income or businesses or whatever that may be. Now that investment income, I'll buy a Rolex with, I'll buy a car with, I'm looking at another car, so it'd be a $5,000 a month payment because I wouldn't want to put, I could buy cash, but I don't want to because that cash is better used somewhere else and I'm okay with the payments and the yields I get for my investments can pay for the car. We can talk about that. You know, I got a video on, or two on YouTube and in the UIG on that. But the point is, my investment income, I'll spend, I don't care. $1,500 a night in a hotel, perfect, done. My earned income, I'm like frugal with. I don't want to spend it. I traded my time for that. There's no material item. There's no Gucci. There's no Rolex. There's no car. There's no hotel that to me is worth trading the most precious thing you have, which is time. Trading that for, you know, something that literally it's like a diminishing returns experience. A 500 hour meal it's like, okay, it's it's good for the first five bites and then it's diminishing. It's probably not much better than the $50 meal. And the $1,500 night hotel room is probably not that much. I mean, they are nice, but not, not for me worth trading my time for. And so again, left side, you got earned income. This is a concept that if you live, you will be amazed at the financial success and the momentum you can build. You have earned income over here. You don't spend that on stupid stuff. You invest that. You invest it in yourself first programs and coaching if you believe in that stuff I'm a big believer in it because it buys me the most precious thing which is time I can take three years to get somewhere or I can get there in three months just show me how to get there okay you've gotten there show me how to do it what do you charge perfect I'll pay whatever it is I don't care and then into income producing investments and then that income you can buy on you know quote unquote stupid stuff and I don't think a Rolex or a supercar is stupid or a $15 a night hotel is stupid at all I think it's a beautiful experience and it's spiritual in nature, but to me, it's investment income that buys that. 
Really hope that helps. Jump into the UIG if you have questions and let's go.